Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dimitri. So today I'm going to be working with arrays and list and I'm going to show you how to implement the iEnumerable interface to be able to work with arrays, list and pretty much any type of collection in uh, C Sharp. We're going to be also working with link and I'll show you why. So let's start by uh, printing these values from this array. So I can print those with for each. And I'm going to say from this variable item in my collection, which is going to be my project one, right? So project one, I want to print the values. And I'm going to say, okay, I want every single item from my project one, which is my collection right here. So pretty much if I want those values, I just hit execute and I'll have the values from 200 to 100. So I got this array printer out here. All right, let's just close this. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to implement or I'm going to use my enumerable interface because I want to start sorting or selecting conditions from this array. So let's say I want only values that are higher than $300, for example. That's why I'm going to create my enumerable. And in this case, it's going to be a type integer. I'm going to name it P1 in this case. And then I'm going to say equal. And then somehow I have to reference this project one, right? So the way it's done is you say, okay, from P in project one. So this could be any value. This one could be A, could be B, could be any value. It doesn't matter. So I'm just going to say from P in my collection project one, okay, I want to select the value P. So select P from this array. And in my for each loop, I'm just going to work with P1 instead of project one. Okay, so if I run this, I should be getting the same values because I don't have any where condition yet. So let's just execute this and I'm going to have those values from 200 to 100. So far, so good. Let's just close this and let's just include one condition for now. So this is kind of the SQL query, but it's just in a different, it's just written in a different way. It starts from the bottom. So select P where P is higher than let's say 300. So if I have this condition, I'm only going to display the 301 and the 400. The rest of the values shouldn't appear there because the condition is that those values are higher than $300. So let's just execute this. And there you go. You can see that it's working. So I have the values 400 and 301. Those are the only two values that meet the condition. All right. So let's just close this and let's try to select a different condition. Okay, so where P is equal to 200, for example. So if you can see in this array, you got two values that are 200. So if I execute this, I should be getting two values. And there you go. So you can see that it's working. So the link query is working. And let's just try to uh, select a different uh, condition less. So less than, let's say 201. So if I run that condition, I should be getting only those two values that are 200, right? 
and oh and 100 because that met the condition as well okay so if I run this I should be getting three values 200 200 and 100 so that's perfect all right so my link query is working all right so we're talking about one array here if I want to do the same with a list I'm just gonna copy this paste it right here and I'm going to use the same enumerable of course I'm gonna give it a different name I'm gonna call this project 3 so p3 and my condition is going to loop in this new list now we're talking about list so it's different than this option uh, right here this was an array now I'm trying to work with a list so the enumerable is going to be type integer I'm gonna call it p3 and I'm going to say from p in this new collection I want only the values that are higher than let's say $150 so I should be getting only this two values 200 and 300 and my for each I'm going to have variable item in p3 that's my new I enumerable because I have another one that it was p1 so now I have a couple of interfaces here the I enumerable p3 is the one that I'm gonna print now all right, let's just execute this program and let's see if it's working. All right, so I'm uh, getting values higher than 150. Oh yeah, so I selected higher than the 150. So those are pretty much the values that I merged from the other loop. So let's just console right like is something in between those two loops so we can make the difference so let's just put a bunch of asterisk let's just execute this again so remember that we're printing two different things okay so this was my first enumerable and now I got my second one and my second one has the values that are higher than hundred fifty dollars which is only two hundred and three hundred in this case all right perfect so what I show you here is that you can implement the enumerable either with a list like in this case or an array in this case in those both scenarios it'll work and you'll be able to filter and select pretty much do whatever you want with those numbers alright guys I hope you guys like the video and I'll see you in the next video